Welcome to another episode of Motion in Motion New Adventures. I'm Lori Olson, founder of the Windex School of Mobile Apps and the creator of Six Pack Apps. This time we'll be diving into one of the three pieces of the Model View Controller Triumvirate model, or more specifically for iOS programming, Core Data. I'm kind of glad that this month I'm recording this introduction as the last piece of our topic. If I had recorded it first, I probably would have talked a lot about design patterns and model view controller pattern or MVC in particular. Instead, I'm going to spend some time talking about why I chose to cover the topics from the three videos in this month's subscription. And those topics are core data basics, core data relationships, and core data query gem. I'm quite positive that at some point in the first two videos, you will think, damn, this core data stuff is complicated and ugly. And you'll want to abandon all thoughts of using core data query. I want to tell you to hang in there. It gets way better once you start using the gem CDQ or core data query. So why do we need to learn the first two parts? Well, there's a lot more going on under the covers of CDQ than you might otherwise realize. And if you don't get at least a nodding familiarity with the underlying SDK, when, not if, but when you run into bugs and crashes, that nodding familiarity will help you figure things out. This is a repeating pattern I've seen where people like to use the easy libraries and gems, the easy configuration tools, and skip over learning the hard parts and the manual steps, and then call themselves experts in the technology. I've written an entire book on core data in Ruby Motion. Some of the content of that book appears in these videos, and I would hesitate to call myself an expert because there are still parts of core data that I haven't even touched on. So let's go learn how core data works at the guts level, and then we'll appreciate just how much more fun it is to use core data query or CDQ in our own projects. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now would be a great time to get started because this is a great topic. See the link below 